Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here. Today, I got challenged by Leanna Dalton to do a look. So if you wanna see what that is, then stick around, cause I'll be right back. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. I appreciate you wanting to hang out with me for a little bit. So on IG, there's a lady named Leanne, Lor I was gonna say Leanna cause I got Leanna on the brain, Lorraine Johnson Coleman. And she is very, she loves to build up women and encourage them and challenge them. And there's a challenge going on where you're supposed to challenge your friends to step out of their comfort zone and do looks that they might not normally do. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. I'll leave uh, Lorraine's link down below as well as Leanna's channel down below so that you can go check them out. Uh, Lorraine doesn't have a channel but she's on IG and she does all kinds of um, encouraging and building up posts and 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 makeup challenges and stuff like that so um it's it's a really cool community from what i've seen um i haven't been up like i i don't like follow it like all the time i mean i see the posts you know and check them out once in a while um when i have the chance so i'm i'm kind of nervous you guys because she picked teal and pink so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna go about this, but I'm gonna use this um, Rude Cosmetics Boots Collection palette that I got in Busy Beauty PR. And these are the shades right here. Let's put it up like that. I think I wanna use these two right here. Maybe this one or this one. And maybe this down here. I don't know. We'll see how it all works out. I'll show you the colors up here. Um, it's my Friday before vacation. And so I'm just getting ready for work. And I figure I can use teal and pink as long as it's not a loud look. You know what I mean? And these are very pastel -y colors. So I think this is going to work out just perfect. I'm going to use this B1 brush and I'm going to put, excuse me, excuse me. I'm going to put, excuse me, down in my crease. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's creasing. It's creasing. I just used this e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams No Budge Eyeshadow and I put that on my lid to kind of get it ready um, because I've been wanting to use it for like a base for my eyeshadows to see how it works. So this will be the second time I've used it. Yesterday I just used it just on my lid for the lid shade and I actually really like it. You know, for a cut crease, I think it'll, it works great. And now we're gonna see how it works for the entire eye look. And so far, doesn't seem too bad, right? For my base, I used my Believe Beauty foundation, and this is in the shade Nude. And for my bronzer and blush, my Pacifica. It's getting down there. It's getting down there. For my brows, I used my e.l.f. brow pencil in taupe. I did use a uh, primer. I used my Laura Geller Spackle Mist, and I also used the e.l.f. poreless poreless face primer and I used a little bit of the um, poreless putty primer as well. Having a hard time thinking today. It kind of creases a little bit so you want to like when you put that no smudge shadow stick on before you put your shadow on you're probably going to want to like tap it down and just kind of get rid of the creases before you put the shadow on. Oh, I also used my Beauty Creations Watermelon Setting Spray. It's getting down there, guys. <laughs> I think it's almost gone, <laughs> which is good. I'm trying to use my stuff up, but it's hard when you got so much. But yeah, today's my Friday. 
vacation time. I get to go see my daddy again. I really, I have been talking about needing to get my brows done forever, you guys. And I really do need to. My son wants to go to Silverwood. So I hit up my sister and I asked her if she had any plans. And she does on a couple days, but we, we found a day where she can go. I just don't know if my son's going to want to go. Just me and him. You know what I mean? It's more funner to go to Silverwood when you have, like, somebody to hang out with, you know, and ride the rides with. I used to be a ride rider, but these days, I don't know. It's like I've gotten a little more afraid of things with age. And I think that's like a normal thing with people, you know, kind of get older and you start thinking about things more than you did when you were a kid. You start thinking about things that you never thought about when you were a kid. Like, I mean, I still had fears when I was younger. All right. I think I'm going to go into Pinko Panko. Pinko Panko. And I'm just going to kind of blend the edges out here with this. Starry Night Collection brush, and this is in, in, this brush is E12. And we're just going to kind of blend this out a little bit. I think I need to put a little more out on that outer V and darken, darken it up a little bit. Okay guys, I went ahead and blended this out a little bit and darkened up the Thank crease. You. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in with this blue right here, which is Juno Sky, and I'm gonna put that on the lid. guys now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put the space cowgirl which is a glitter on my lid
Okay, guys. I'm back, and the look is pretty much done, I think. Uh, my boss called. One of my senior managers called, so I had to talk to her about some stuff. So I was just kind of doing my makeup while I was talking to her because... I have to leave for work and I don't want to be late. I actually have to leave in about 10 minutes. So um, I was doing my makeup while I was talking to her. So I'll show you the shades that I used. Um, I used, let me hold it up like this. Does this fold back? It does fold back. That makes it so much more convenient. I used, excuse me? And then I used Juno Sky, which is this pale blue. And I just put that on the lid there. This I put in the crease and I used Pinko Panko right here to blend that out. And then I put a little more of the Excuse Me out here on the outer. And then I used this Space Cowgirl right here and just put that on top of the blue. And then I used the Blew Me Away, Blew Me Away color right here. And I put that on the lower lash line. And then I used a little bit of the Pinko Panko to kind of blend it out. And then I used a little bit of the shrooms. Is that shrooms? It, I think it's shrooms. Shrooms right here, this pink. And I put that on the inner corner as a inner corner, I don't know, highlight. <laughs> what do you guys think? How does it look? I think it's really pretty. I mean, I'm not going to say these are the best formula eyeshadow I mean you can make it work but it's not like I don't know it works it's fine it's it's not like there's other palettes that I like more but I do like this palette I think it gave me a really pretty look and I'm happy with it I used my Laura Geller fortifying lash primer and my essence lash princess um, for my lashes I used the act natural color pop on the lower lashes I used my what is this? BFF2 ColourPop Lippy Pencil because I love it. It's getting down there too. Like I never noticed a difference in my like lip liners and stuff because usually I have the ones that you, you know, push up or twist up and you can't tell that they're being used. But because this is a pencil and I got to sharpen it, it gets smaller and smaller. So I can see that I've been I'm putting some pan into it. And then I used my Pirilano lippy that I got in my ice cream beauty box and I love it. And that was in Tuscan Sunset is the color. I love that color. Um, I did use, I forgot to tell you guys, I used some of my hard candy translucent setting powder on my face as well. I think that's, oh, tight line KVD cake pencil and waterline is the Trace Loose Accomplished shade. I put that on the waterline so what do you guys think teal and pink it's not bad it's not bad I think it's pretty I like it I like it well anyways guys that's my video for today uh, Leanna thank you so much for challenging me to do this I don't necessarily know that I would have put teal and pink together um, and I think it looks really pretty. I mean, I hope this is as close to a teal that I can get. I think, I mean, it kind of looks like a tealy blue. I don't know. I tried. Hopefully I succeeded. But anyways, thanks again, Leanna. I love you so much. And, uh, let me know what you think of the look. You've probably already seen the picture because I'm pre-filming a lot and I, this probably won't go up until after the picture goes up. But anyways, I love you guys all so very much. Thank you for being here. If you haven't joined Nene's Glam Squad, go down below, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it helps me out. Turn up the notification bell. That way you can get notified of any and all future uploads. If you wouldn't mind, give the video a big thumbs up. Helps out the channel. Let's YouTube know you enjoy seeing my content. And like I said, leave a comment. Say hi. Let me know that you stopped by. Let me know what you think of the look. Let me know what you think of the palette. Have you tried this company, this brand? Do you like it? Let me know. I'm curious. So have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is you're watching this. Take care. Stay safe. And I hope I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.